All right, let's just drive straight into this. This is my entry for the Discordless VII February 2018 challenge titled Squad Goals, which, yes, I came up with myself. Um, basically, the idea behind Squad Goals is that you want to create a home in the wasteland for you, your soul survivor, um, and a vanilla companion that really encompasses everything that makes you, your soul survivor, and the vanilla companion there themselves, basically. Um, so when I did this, I really wanted to take one of my Soul Survivor characters and cater to their style, um, and also what I would like to do, or like have, if I was in the Wasteland. Uh, so that's basically what I did. Um, and for this video, I'm going to kind of go over who my Soul Survivor is and their companions, because I have more than one, actually. And then we'll go into the tour and kind of talk about everything like I normally would. Um, so that being said, let's just dive right into it and I'm going to talk about my companion or my soul's right and the companions really quick. Okay, so first up I have one of my soul survivors, my only female soul survivor actually, um, Elena Luck. This is the sister to one of my other soul survivors, Ronnie Luck, who I usually play as. Um, and then next up is her companion, who also her husband, Eli Luck. I use a mod that allows both of them to be together. Um, so it's like after the war happened, um, they both went to the vault and then something happened and they wound up together alive together. Um, and then of course my vanilla companion is Piper because I love her and I felt like for these two it really made sense for them to have her with them because she's a very positive supportive role and has a lot of know-how with the commonwealth and everything. Um, so knowing that I'm going to go straight into the tour itself. Um, you can probably see Eli in the background in some of these clips because I I made him wait at County Crossing where this is being recorded at and he waited like right at the very very corner of the settlement's like basic uh, outline and you, like, right, like right now you can see him in the window yeah it's it's a, it's a little creepy I fully admit that and I apologize <laughs> but here we go this is the house um, I used a lot of mods for this I actually went through the Nexus and just like went on a spree of like downloading hella build mods and just went all out on this because I really wanted it to be a house that I loved um, and I felt like really encompassed my style and my character's styles. So one of the main things I wanted to have was like a really welcoming environment. Um, so I made the, the living room really open and warm and the kitchen as you can see very like it's small but it, it has a lot of space to it in a sense like um, it's got a lot of character and everything. Then as we move down the hallway and into this bathroom, this little tiny tiny bathroom, um, it's it's small, which I understand, but it's, you know, it's a bathroom. Like, it's the wasteland. They have a bathroom. Like, that's pretty damn cool, gotta admit. Um, then going down, this first bedroom is um, Elena and Eli's bedroom. So they share this little bedroom at the front corner of the house. Um, they've got curtains up to kind of keep outsiders from looking in and from them looking out if they want to. Um, I really thought that the I Want to Believe poster was cool because I personally love X-Files and I just I just think that's the coolest. Um, and I can try to do something with the uh, bedside tables where the one on the left had the pit boy to showcase like that's obviously Elena's bed. Um, she's my soul survivor and then the other side would be where Eli would sleep. All right, and now as we move upstairs, we get to the um, more of like a office type space, I guess, and like where where they would go to just kind of do things, I guess. Um, as you can see from this first area on the left, once we come up to the landing, this is the office area and like recreation area where they would like paint and write things and read and do that sort of stuff. And then here, our first room upstairs is Piper's room. So this is my Vanilla Companion's room um, for the, the challenge. Uh, the idea behind I had behind this room was basically that I wanted to make it look like she stayed here and could still do her job as a journalist and reporter. Uh, so she has a telephone. She's got holotapes everywhere to record things, voice memos and everything. She's got her printing press to work on the paper. Um, a toolbox to make sure that she can fix it when it breaks down and the notes just everywhere and books and all of that um, a nice little bed 
and everything. So I wanted to keep it simple because I feel like she is pretty simple in the fact that she puts a lot of her effort and work into her actual journalism and work. Um, so it made sense to me to do that. And now we move into more of the office area, take a nice little peep outside at County Crossing, which is looking pretty sad currently. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll go into this back room, um, which is the workshop. And yes, before you say anything, I know having an open flame there in the corner makes no sense because it's a wood house and it probably burned down, but whatever. I don't, it's, I liked the look of the workshop bench, so it's fine. Um, and then back outside again in the hallway, we have like a little storage area and where I would assume that they would like do laundry and everything and make sure they clean and hung up and all of that. And now... I want to show off a little extra thing that I did. Um, this was not part of the challenge or anything, but I really got into the idea of making this settlement and this build something that I personally would like to have as, like, you know, living in the wasteland. So I made it back an outside area out back, um, which has a lot of stuff in it, and then also a secondary building that we'll go into in a little bit. So. The backyard is basically like a, a little a little farm area. Um, the windmill in the back corner is what they get the elect their electricity from. Um, very quiet and no noise from generators. Um, and then inside the warehouses, not the warehouse, <laughs> the windmill's base structure is where they would do their gardening and all of that, like keep their tools and everything. Um, everything's lit up really well. I have some nice lanterns placed down. And then, the secondary building over here is actually a cafe and bar. So if you know anything about me personally, you probably know that I am in culinary school and I'm a cook and everything. So I thought that if I was in the wasteland, I would want to have like a my own cafe or place that I could sell things that I cook. Um, because I mean, you know, there's no laws, uh, there's no restrictions and regulations and everything, so there's no OSHA or whatever. Um, so I can just do that if I want to. So I built this up as best as I could. I made this, this is the employee area, so this is where like Elena and Eli and maybe Piper, maybe even Codsworth, um, Codsworth Kitchen, um, would come and like prep things and get the alcohol and make food and everything. And then we'll go back outside and back out front and take a look at the customer's side really quick. And just like if it was magic, here we are out front at the customer's side. So just imagine, you know, travelers, um, traders and everything just walking up the street, traveling between settlements and seeing this cafe on the side, a bar, um, really lively, very colorful and open. just very inviting. That's what I wanted to go for. Um, and just a nice little place to stop and relax and mingle with people, meet other traders and other travelers, and just enjoy yourself. Uh, that was really the entire goal I had for this little cafe. I, it is super small and super simple, and I'm okay with that. Like, that's that's really what I was going for here. Um, I do want to mention really quick the um, mod that I used for a lot of these decorations that you see. I believe it was these scrap mod or something like that. I'm honestly not sure. I'll put um, a link in the description to it and I apologize if I totally messed that up. But it's a great mod um, and this this little cafe I really thought was like the final piece to the perfect squad goals type build for me and my soul survivor and my companion Piper um, and Eli. So that concludes basically the entire tour of my entry for the challenge. This took me absolutely the entire time that I had to do this challenge. It took me to do because I'd have to, I'd start building and then have to stop and be like, wait, do, do I like this? Do I not? What else can I add? What else do I not want? You know, and I, I really took a lot of time to just think about it um, and what I wanted and everything. So I really hope that you enjoyed this build. It's meant a lot to me. I'm probably going to um, maybe in a while's time come back and edit or update this build um, and kind of, you know, make it as like, quote unquote, into the future, how it would change. Um, so I really like, like the idea of having a dedicated place that my soul survivor would live and everything. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, thank you so much for checking out this this build and um, everything. Uh, if you don't know already, this 
is a build for the February 2018 challenge squad goals for the Discordless VII Discord server. Um, I am an admin on there. I absolutely love it. It's made and run by Cordless VII, another great um, settlement builder and everything in the Fallout community. The community is just absolutely fantastic. I love everybody on there. It's it's just a great place to be and there's so much going on and I, I have to be honest with you, there's a lot of interesting stuff that could possibly be coming in the future, wink wink hint hint, or maybe not, un wink wink, un hint hint, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> But yeah, just check out the server if you can, if you have Discord. Um, the link will be in the description as always. And just stay safe out there, have a good one, and I will see you next time. See ya. Hey, thanks so much for checking out my video. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you might like of mine, so if you have time, check it out. Or if you don't, that's totally up to you. No pressure. As always, just have a good one and stay safe out there, alright? Hope I see you around next time. You have a good one. Later!